All right, seeing if we can touch down. I think we have a spot right here, so it's easier down. And we have touchdown. All right, let's go ahead and hit the bro. Oh, no, 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 no. Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello, YouTube. Komodo Gaming here for you guys. Hey, another episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today we are back with some more survival missions. So today we're going to be checking out another mission off the uh, Sheepdog playlist, which it's a, a group of 10 custom missions. If you haven't checked it out, I'll have it linked in the description. But uh, me and Frantic actually tried one of these the other day. Uh, it was really fun. It was a big sh sinking ship. We took a helicopter out, and we actually had to try to get the people off. It was a, uh, it was interesting. It was a really well thought out and well done mission. But of course, with me and Frantic, it didn't exactly go well. So same rules apply today. Full survival. NPC damage is on. I can die. Uh, we've got vehicle damage. So I have to play by the rules here when it comes to completing some of these missions. So we're going to take one of the missions, we'll see how long it takes, and then maybe we'll move on to a couple others in the playlist. But if you guys are enjoying the uh, hardcore missions here on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. And if you guys have any suggestions for any future Stormworks episodes, comment below. Alright, let's go and get lights on, open up the hangar here. Alright, so the mission we're going to be taking here, let me go ahead and pull it up. It is a distress call mission. Apparently, a cell boat has sent out a distress signal via the VHF channel 16. Uh, it's apparently, there's two souls aboard. They crashed just off the Arctic mainland due to visibility of the fog, I guess. And yeah, they are sinking fast. So let's go ahead and highlight this target and let's figure out where they are. And we'll kind of coordinate our response here. They're not really far away. I would almost argue I can go via boat. But I'm a little concerned these bridges do not have high clearance. So I'd have to either go around and I don't know which side of the bridge they are on down here. So you know what? I think we're going to take a helicopter. Now normally I wouldn't do that by myself. I would always like to have somebody with me in a helicopter. That way somebody can go down on a winch and uh, the other person can keep it in the air. But uh, we'll have to see the situation. Maybe we'll be able to land it. But let's go ahead and grab a helicopter here. Alright, so we have one of Sheepdog's helicopters too. I guess it goes perfect with these missions. Let's go and jump at the pilot seat here. All right, let's check. Do we have any gear? Okay, how many seats are we dealing with? Looks like we have plenty. Let's go ahead and get our Arctic gear on real quick. All right, we should be good to go. Hopefully this thing's really stable because I might need it. Uh, depending on where this actual crash is, uh, we'll have to see. Okay, let's go APU start. Okay, let's go ahead and go engines engaged. There we go. Uh, do I need the... Yeah, I guess I want that on too. Rotor engaged. All right, let's go ahead and put the uh, turbine throttle up. I'm not even sure if I'm doing this right. Let's go feed engines. There we go. Actually, turn off refuel mode. All right, she's going to slowly start up here. All right, we're rolling out of the hangar right now. Let's go ahead and get clear of it, and then we'll go ahead and uh, go up even further up on the, uh, the throttle here. We should get airborne. All right, do I have it? Okay, I have it located. So it's just a pretty big search area, but... I mean, it is a sailboat. Shouldn't be that hard to spot, even though the weather is not ideal at the moment. All right, almost clear. All right, here we go. It's going to get the turbine throttle all the way up. All right, we should start to lift. And come on, baby. There it goes. All right. Whoop, there we go. Ah, it's looking good. All right, so we are ready to go see if we can find these uh, people. Uh, we're going to have to stay pretty low here. I can see the end of the runway. Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> Maybe this is going to be pretty hard to spot. I'm not really sure. All right. I'm hoping there's at least an area I can land. I do have a winch I could put down, uh, but I can't actually strap them in without going down with the helicopter. So uh, we'll at least survey the area. i got about 20 minutes here. All right, the captain said he's on the southern coast of the Arctic mainland. Search the area. All right, so we have rocks down here. Uh, look, left side looks like we have either that's potentially a flare or it's smoke. I think it's a flare. All right, that's going to be them right over here. All right. Yeah, this would have been bad if I would have taken a boat because it would have been really off. Uh, I don't know if I would have been able to squeeze under the bridge. I guess I could have taken a small craft. Oh, uh, yeah. Yep. There's the flares. Two people down. 
All right, we got him spotted here. Let me think. That does not look like a good landing zone. Uh, we could try to land over there. Uh, they're definitely not, they're not going down or anything. They're actually beached completely, so not worried about anybody drowning, but I want to get them out real quick because if they don't have Arctic gear on, that's going to be very, very bad. All right, let's see if we can find a place to touch down here. Oh, boy. All right, seeing if we can touch down. I think we have a spot right here, so it's easier down. And we have touchdown. All right, let's go and hit the bro. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, this thing is not even at all. All right, you know what? We might have to just auto hover over them. All right, let's go ahead. Let's get the sliding door open real quick. All right, actually, it's a, is it a hold? Oh, it is a hold. All right, we'll have to go in there and actually hit it. Hopefully, it's not a hold on the actual door. When I say hold, it's a hold button, so you have to hold it down in order to keep it open. All right, so we got to try to get really close here. Now, I got to watch where the sail goes because... If I clip that, I am going to be toast. All right, so you know what? it might be best to do this with an altitude hold. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess the altitude's right around five. Let's go five here. Let's go boom. All right. Uh, it's kind of stabilized. All right, we can go down a couple more. Uh, let's go down to two here and see how close we are. There we go. Two. All right, we're just pretty even with it right now. Now, if the helicopter wasn't moving forward here, I, I would be pretty uh, pretty okay with just jumping out. All right, I need to turn it real quick. Uh, door's on the other side. All right, I think we're actually propped up against it. All right, people, it is probably time to get moving here. Actually, we're moving still. Uh, you know what? Actually, better idea. Hold on, let's turn this. Okay, watch the blade. Okay, watch the blades, watch the blades. And we're going to prop up against the rock here. There we go. We got those sleds, so we can push it against the rock. And I think we'll stay pretty stable here. Okay, that looks good. All right, this is probably our opportunity to do this. Let's go ahead and hop on. All right, people, I know you guys are ding-dongs. I don't know how you did this exactly, but not going to question it. I just want you guys to get into the helicopter. All right. Helicopter's a little tall. There we go. All right, you with me? Hey, you actually made it out of your boat. Congratulations. All right, you know what? Let's go ahead and place you there, and then I'm going to hop here. There we go. All right, everybody's aboard. Say goodbye to your boat. It is in <laughs> very, very bad shape. All right, it's fine. We're, uh, we're ready to go here. Let's go ahead and just get up real quick. Uh, that way we don't lose the helicopter. Let's go ahead and set it. All right, hopefully you guys are strapped in. Let's go ahead and go up to 20. There we go. All right, outpost is marked. It's only 600 meters away. Uh, looks like you guys are going to catch a lucky break here today. That could have been a lot worse. All right, let's go and get up here. All right, visibility is a little low here. I can see our landing zone. Wait, did they just actually mark this? Or is this marked for the mission? I think it's marked for the mission. I don't remember the flares being here. Uh, or the lights. Okay, there we go. Touchdown. All right, folks, it is time to disembark here. Thank you guys for flying with the Arctic Response Team. All right, let's go ahead and pop that open. Follow me, and if you can, I don't know why you can't tell somebody to just follow you from uh, from the seat there. There we go. All right, all right, here we are at the outpost. Let's go ahead and unload here. Okay, well that went actually uh, surprisingly well. That is not normal. No, you, you stop following me. It's like an attached dog. No, you get to stay here. You don't get to go with me back in the cool helicopter to go do more rescues. All right, that is call number one completed. Looks like we're good to go. It's actually getting dark, so we might actually take the next call at night. Just to ramp up the difficulty level just a bit on us. All right, just had another call. We have the Donk Line 520 has gone down. They're able to ditch in the water. There are multiple survivors, 16 to be exact. Get there and rescue them. Uh, they're still in radio contact. Okay. That is a lot of people. 16. We do not have 16 seats aboard this. Uh, we might have to go over to the Arctic Yard and go grab a ship here. Uh, hopefully it stays afloat. All right. Ooh, I don't like actually traveling at night. All right. Here we go. Let's go ahead and increase throttle. Let's get up off the ground, and we'll see what we can do here. Oh, man. Look at the snow off the lights in the front. That is actually really cool looking. All right, we're going to make a small detour here. We're going to stop up here at the dock. 
And uh, we're going to go ahead and pick up a ship since uh, this is not enough to be able to get all the people out of the water. Plus, like I said, it, with the stability of the helicopter and me having to hop out of it, uh, I don't think it's a good idea. Not unless I could land on the plane, which I'm very, very much doubting that. So, it uh, looks like we're going to have a nighttime rescue here uh, with a plane that's been ditched in the water. Hopefully they stay warm for a bit. Okay, docks down below. Let's go ahead. Ooh, let's set her down right, right here. There we go. Let's go and apply the brakes. Uh, let's go ahead and go throttle off. Actually, we can just kill all this over here. There we go. Kill the engines. All right, let's get this thing stable, and we're going to hop over into a boat. I've also got a sheepdog boat that I think we're going to use here uh, for the remainder of this mission. All right, here she comes. There we go. We got a rescue ship. Uh, do we have spotlights on this? Yes, I do up at the top. All right, I'm about to say spotlights are probably going to be pretty crucial here. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. Let's see. Ooh, it's a little dark. Okay, I've already got Arctic gear on. Scuba gear is in there. I need to find the wheelhouse immediately. And we'll get this thing fired up. Actually, it's probably up here. Let's see. Do we need to go to the engine room first? I'm seeing breakers. All right, let's go ahead and go. Uh, weather information, GPS information's on. VHF 1 and 2 are on. Okay, it's going to go lights are on here. Uh, looks like a couple here. Engine. Okay, generators. Engine. Uh, pumps and exhaust. Let's see, it's a fuel line cut off right there. Alright, let's see. Do we have the uh, spotlights? That's the only thing I need right now. There's our radar and there's spotlights. Alright, we should be about good. Alright, she's lit up, ready to go. Survivors are 9.6 kilometers. It's not a very, very far way away. But yeah, we need to get there fast because I don't know if there's bodies actually in the water right now, which would be probably very, very bad. Now that I think about it, a helicopter would have been really good to be able to go out there, but that one one's not big enough. Now, he has a Chinook uh, that for sure would be able to hold all 16, but it would be a very, very huge undertaking uh, as far as me doing it solo. So, I think ship's going to be the way to go here. It's just going to take us a while to get out there. All right, 1.7 kilometers out. Uh, looks like the sun's actually starting to come up. So, yeah, I'm not really sure these people would have made it through the night. Uh, they all seem to be kind of lined up. Maybe they're along the wings or something. I actually don't even know how big the craft is. Uh, 16 passengers doesn't really mean much. I mean, it could hold a lot more. Uh, but navigation-wise, it's been pretty easy to get through here. Uh, not a lot of ice, surprisingly. Actually, is there a compass? Which way or which direction are we heading right now? Pretty sure... No, we're heading pretty much north here. Uh, and I can see where the, uh, where the plane's gonna be. Alright, uh, we're almost there. Yep, this is a full-blown passenger plane. Alright, trying to look. Do I see the actual bodies? Yep, they are along the uh, the wing here. They're along both wings, actually. I'm assuming there's an emergency hatch somewhere. Alright, we better get in. Why are there people still inside of the plane? Like, why would you be inside of this? That seems like a completely horrible idea. You know, I'm not convinced that this isn't like Jank Airlines plane here. All right, let's see. It's going to turn on our heaters, external heaters. The uh, internal heaters are on. All right, we are stopping. Let's try not to hit an iceberg out here. All right, let's go greet our buddies here on the plane. I'm pretty sure they want to get out of the water and get into the warmth. Well, I guess they're technically not in the water, but they're definitely out in the cold here. All right. You know, it'd be kind of cool if you could actually put Arctic clothing on people. Uh, hello, everybody. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to worry about the people inside first. Uh, just in case the plane decides that it wants to go down. Ooh, the water's actually really nice and cold. All right, let's go. Boom. Let's get our flashlight on. All right. Oh, you know what? I don't think we have actually checked this thing out. This is pretty neat. Wow, this is actually really, really detailed looking. Yeah, all right, I see the co-pilot. We're going to have to grab each of these people. This thing's kind of hard to navigate. All right, pilot. That kind of looks like OB. Uh-oh, he's almost frozen to death. All right, all right, let's go. Let me get you out. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, you know what? Here, set there. I need to grab your buddy here. He is uh, pretty frozen here. All right, let me go and grab you. We need to get you by a heater immediately. Anybody else in here? All right, she looks empty. Oh, I think she's starting to take on some water now. All right, come on. All right, we need to get you to a heater immediately. The pilot is almost frozen to death right now. There we go. Get you up here and check this out. Boom. There it goes. You can see his little uh, cold meter going up. All right, so we saved him. 
Oh, you actually followed me up on this. All right, let me see if I can just round everybody else up and get them to follow me up on the thing here. Uh, I don't know if they'll cross the aisle. I might have to just go around to the other side. All right, everybody, we're going to get you guys off this plane. Uh, I don't know. It looks like nobody was dressed appropriate. Uh, there's a couple people with some scarves on and maybe a toboggan, but it is definitely way too cold to be out here like this. So, all right, let's go and load you guys up here. Everybody follow me up here. Uh, we're going to actually make it up. Uh, we're somewhat making it up. I hate how the NPCs, and I don't know if it's ever going to be addressed, I hate how they just stop following you after a little bit. Or if they get kind of stuck somewhere, they instantly decide that, hey, it's not worth following you anymore. It's a real annoyance I have with the game right now. All right, everybody, we need to hurry up and get out of the water. It's a, a little cold here. Uh, of course, you guys don't care because you just quit following me. Follow, follow. I'll pick you up. All right, come on. Last couple up here. Let me go get your buddies. Let's go buy the heaters here. There we go. All right, stop following me. Boom. Sweet. All right, got that group. Let's go get the last group. All right, got the last group here. We're about to have to go for a little bit of a swim. I would have really actually liked to have done this with some sort of helicopter or something. I imagine that would have been actually really cool. All right, everybody follow me. Let's go. And make sure everybody's okay. Everybody's in the water. Look at that. They just stopped following me for whatever reason. Why they just, I don't know why they even decided to do that. Oh, the plane is actually really going down now. Uh, I'm going to grab you. Follow me. Get away from the plane. I can see the, the wings are... Oh, there it goes. Uh, she's almost done. Yep, you guys uh, would have been really cold really fast there. All right, there you go, and there you go. All right, everybody is aboard. All right, I'm going to go do one more check at the plane. Uh, is there a black box or anything? Am I supposed to get that? I know some of these missions have a, like a black box somewhere. I guess it would be up towards the front. All right. Uh, I think we've already, yeah, we've already checked up towards the front. Let's go ahead and go to the rear of the plane and see if anybody's in here. All right. She, uh, everything looks clear here. Okay. Uh, let's get out of here. All right. We are good to get out of here. Let's go ahead. Oh, man. Uh, we're just going to back out of here real quick. All right. So that is another mission successful here. That's actually two really cool missions. Like I said, the pack actually has eight more of these things. Uh, we did one the other day with Frantic, so there's about seven more we can go through. And they all kind of range from, like, uh, simple pickups of uh, people. Uh, this one was a little more advanced since you had that many people. But it also has stuff like, I think I saw a snowmobile incident, and I think even had, like a car crash or something. So very cool pack. It's always nice seeing some missions being made here at Stormworks. kind of gives you guys, or it gives at least me something to do. All right, we are heading out. Not bad at all. All right, so we only have, what, 11 kilometers to get back to the mainland, but not too bad. You know, now that they're in this situation, if there was anybody that needed to be evac'd immediately, I'm pretty sure we'd have a helicopter come grab the people uh, that needed to get off the boat immediately. But, yeah, I left them all out there because, obviously, they're hard to move around, so they can just sit by the, uh, the nice toasty heaters out there. It's perfectly fine. But anyways, I'm going to take these guys back to the mainland. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. This was actually quite fun for me. I like to occasionally just go out and do some missions, uh, attempt some rescues. Kind of a challenging weather here today. Uh, I didn't get too terrible, but I would say Komodo actually saved people today, and that's not always the case. Stuff goes wrong a lot here in Stormworks. But like I said, uh, the, all the items here on one workshop at Sheepdogs, I'll have it linked in the description. If you want to check that out, Thank you guys for all the love and support, and we will see you guys next time in Stormworks.